Hi guys, I'm Lisa for WTF Lisa Tarot, and I get messages through songs. And other ways too, other ways too. So I have one earbud in, one earbud out. Like, share, subscribe, and follow. Drop a tip, cash app, WTF Lisa Tarot. Shop my store, WTF Lisa eBay. And I do have WTF Lisa Etsy, but I don't have much on there right now. Just recorded video tarot readings. I do one question, two question, and three question. Check that out. I am not doing phone and video chat because I don't have fucking time. I have, well, the next week I will be at five or six subs. I gotta count at some point. Anyway, that's irrelevant. I have High Enough by Damn Yankees. Now, for one, I don't know the song that well. I do know the song, as in I have heard it, and it was coming up a lot for me last week, but I didn't do any readings to it. I, I just didn't feel... Like, it was time for that vibe. And I'm still not even sure what I can say here. I still feel like there's a lot with this vibe, high enough damn Yankees, that I cannot say. But I'll say what I can say, you dig? And that's a lot of it. <laughs> now, before I go into this song with the lyrics, I just find it funny. It's like, they're supposed to be a rock band. Tough guys, long hair. I don't know if they're metal or just a rock band. But this is like their only song that I'm aware of. It starts off with an orchestra and symphony, and they're named after, like, a musical or something. It's just weird to me. <laughs> so you like musical theater and orchestras, yet you were trying to say you are a metal band. Okay. It's the industry plant much? Anyway. Still a good song, I guess. I wanna hear about it anymore. Shame I got to live without you anymore there's a fire in my heart a pounding in my brain and it's driving me crazy high enough <clears throat> there's this energy of regret and relief again like then to kill bill and i get this it, this energy a lot someone's in regret and someone is in relief that they don't have to deal with someone anymore but this energy right now is the regretful one I just made one mistake. I didn't know what to say when you called me baby. I didn't know what to say when you called me baby. I just made one mistake. I think this person made more than one mistake, which is why they're in this regretful energy. Don't say goodbye. Say you're going to stay forever. Oh, whoa, all the way. <laughs> Can you take me high enough? No. Your ass is heavy. I can't lift you that high, bitch. That's the other vibe I'm getting here. Who is this in this regretful energy? Can you take me high enough? Can you lift me out of the shithole I created? No! Magician. King of Swords. Gemini. Ace of Wands. You dug a pit. Knight of Swords. Full. Star. Four of Wands. Can you get out of it? Or is someone trying to ask you to get out of it? That's a weird vibe here. Who was the person? Who was... Who's your adversary here? I didn't know what to do when you called me, baby. We have a runner! It might just be somebody running because something spooked them. That's the other vibe I'm getting. It could be getting two stories. That happens sometimes. There's always so much energy and so much information going at all times. The things cross. Can you take me high enough? Seven of Cups, Knight of Cups. Maybe uh, someone sees you as an option, Empress. Or you see a, a water sign as an, as an option, whatever it is. Seven of Cups, Knight of Cups, Empress. Three of Cups or Two of Swords. Some of you, I think, are scared. There's two vibes here. One of you, a Gemini is in regret for losing a water sign femme. But it's your own fucking fault. The other vibe I'm getting is there's a Gemini so spooked hanging man that they're just running hermit and hiding. <laughs> so there's two vibes here. A Gemini, uh, masculine energy, but, you know, you take it as it resonates. You lost a, a water sign femme. And they're in regret over it, but... I So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read for them first. Gemini versus water sign femme. You regret what you did, but I just feel like you pushed them away and you treated them like crap. Well, this Ace of Coins Magician, Queen of Wands, you were in bitch energy, even though you're a man. Nine of Wands, now you're blocked for good. That Water Sign Fam wants nothing to do with you. 
Don't say goodbye. Say you're gonna stay forever. Oh, uh, all the way. And someone, and we'll get to the spooked Gemini in a minute. Because there's two vibes, two different people. But maybe your paths are crossing. And you don't, I mean, you may not even know. That's the weird vibe here. Intersecting stories. That's a weird thing. Can you take me high enough? Wealthy text messages slander. This Gemini could have been real focused on the bag, focused on jobs, doing weird shit, which left the water sign lonely. The guy would put every like everything else as a priority over this woman. Oh, she'll always be there, so I don't have to worry about it. Well, no, she gets tired of waiting and she left. This guy was so focused, leveling up, admiration, and confused on everything else but her that he lost her and he just can't get her back. This is the neglect vibes. His air sign was so busy doing all the other things that they neglected this water sign fam and now she's just gone. Uh, shadow work, hater, sidetracked. This Gemini needs to sit their ass down and really work on himself. Put your loving hand down, baby. Cause I'm begging. I have main skin begging. That was terrible. I would apologize for that, but I'm not gonna. My bio says I sing terribly. I'm begging, begging you. So put your love in hands already. Too little, too late. You gotta soon your regret. Water sign Fem is out, gone. There's no reason for her to come back, and she shouldn't. Because I feel like the next next person she gets in a relationship will be better for her. King of Cups. She's gonna meet a water sign like herself. And Seven of Coins, Knight of Coins. That's gonna be full something. Three of Cups that leads to her happiness. Empress, because two of Coins, there is death, no happiness. With you, Gemini. Leave the water sign fam alone. Let her go on to happiness. Now we have a Gemini who's running. I don't want to lose you. Yeah. Da, da, da. I'm begging, begging you. Gemini runner. What's your joint? You're a different person, but I got two Geminis here. Two Geminis we will do. Why duality? And there's two. I don't know. <laughs> Two, two, two. Two is very important for this Gemini runner. Death and lovers. Justice. King of swords. Gemini! Look at you. You're running. Nine of cups, ten of wands. If something is, it feels good. An empty shell! I used to be shy girl. You're a runner. And when something seems good, you run from it. When something seems bad, you go, you run from it. You just run. Page of Cups, something's coming towards you, Eight of Swords, Ace of Cups. It might not be too bad, Eight of Wands, Four of Coins, but with this High Priestess and Moon, Two of Cups, I don't know. You have a good offer coming, Star, but Five of Coins, you may screw it up, or you feel just like it's not real. What's this energy of running? Because in some cases, Gemini, some of you are correct. This deal's long-term bet. It'll be good for, like... I want to liken it to like, oh, it's fun for a few minutes and then it's all bad, but it'll be a little longer. Like, it'll be good for like a month or two and then it just falls apart. And I feel like you know that and that's why you're running. So it may seem odd, like, why would you run from that? But maybe you're seeing the long term. Is this correct? Nine of Swords, Empress, Five of Cups. Some of you will have fortune. Ace of Wands can see further down the line. And you can see that while it seems good now, long term it'll be bad. And some, I think you are, Hangman, actually correct in some cases. Other cases, some of you, you are very blind. So I feel like there's a lot of confusion energy. <clears throat> Maybe around Geminis in general. And then because, you know, we have the fuck shit Geminis, like the one I just read up before. Their energy is fucking with the Geminis that are cool. So we're just like, can you guys clear the fuck out? Can we separate this? Can we have the good Geminis on this side and the bad ones on this side? So there's clarity. And I feel like maybe in some cases, some of the issues, some people are mistaking you for the bad Geminis. So they think you're going to be down for stupid things, but you're not like that. You can see further into the future and you're like, this is 
This is all bad all around. I'm not participating in this. I'm taking that. I wanted to fly, fly out. And I have special by garbage. Right when Queen of Coins came out. I live in without you. You know that something long term is not good for you or anybody around you. And you would rather just bail early before shit gets bad. Shit hits the fan. I have run you down into the ground. Nine of coins, king of wands, two of coins. Somebody devil's going to offer you something they just don't actually fucking have. It's bullshit in the world. You know it. So you're out. Six of cups. They may use the past. Your nine of coins. It's this energy they may bring up. Here's my past success once, but Jerry, it. Six of wands, nine of wands. Okay, but where's the success now? Nine of, show me what's happening now. That's great you did that in 1999. That's great you did that in 2014. But what are you doing now? Five of coins. In some cases as well. Do you have an opinion? You ask a couple questions and then you realize something's funky. So you're politely excusing yourself. In some cases, some of you realize something is a little off. And so you're going to just be a little extra to throw up the boundaries. So someone's going to think that bitch is nuts, but it's defense. It depends. King of Cups, Emperor, Death, Two of Wands. Somebody coming in to offer you nothing. An Ace of Cups, Justice, Three of Cups, but Ten of Wands, you can tell it's nothing. At, at long term, what does this mean? What's in the shadows, Gemini Runner? <clears throat> Do you have an opinion? A mind of your own? Some, just use your discernment, Gemini. Uh, some of you are correct to run. Others of you... Hmm... I don't know. I kind of get the energy a lot if people think you're crazy for running away for something, but you understand the long term. So it may seem crazy now, but it'll make sense later. You're so easy to see through. Gemini, this is you. Your body language says so much. I do wish you well. Sum up. There's no way in hell I'd take you back. But do you have an opinion? I think some people might think you're crazy for turning it down, but the long term, maybe if they just sat down and actually asked you, Gemini, why you're running and you laid it out for them, it would make sense. In some cases, some people just question everything you say and do, and if they actually took a second to talk to you, it would make sense. But again, uh, I think about men in black when um, they mention, you know, a person is smart, people are stupid. One person, one-on-one, -on -one, you can probably, like, teach. It's harder to teach a group because, you know, but the same energy, too, is, well, I mean, I could teach you all day, but I can't make you learn. And in some cases, some of you realize, you know, this might be fun for a minute, but long-term, nothing will grow here. So I gotta go, you talk of the town. You were the talk of the town. And Judgment, King of Coins, Page of Swords. Is reading those details, Devils in the Details, the Moon. Some of you Geminis do see the details. That's why you're out. So maybe other people might think you're nuts, but long term you see the plan. You see what's happening. And they may not get it now, but Gemini, you are ahead of the curve. 